Father, we love you. We thank you for this day and for the blessings of life, for salvation. We thank you for this occasion, Lord, that Paul and Sonia are becoming one flesh in your sight. We just pray your blessings upon them through this ceremony. Father, we ask you to bless all of us that are here. Lord, might we that are married remember the covenant that we took with our spouse and refresh our memories as we go through this ceremony, Lord, to how sacred this is and how that we want to honor the vows that we take and be faithful one to another. And just have your way in this service, in Jesus' name, amen. We are gathered here in the sight of God and these witnesses to unite Paul and Sonia in holy matrimony. As believers in Jesus Christ, they recognize that it was God who instituted marriage and who said it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helpmate suitable for him. The God who made and redeemed them also instituted this relationship that they are about to enter. Paul and Sonia, the vows you are about to take are not to be taken without careful thought and prayer. For in them we are committed, you are committing yourselves exclusively to one to the other for as long as you both shall live. This love is not to be diminished by difficult circumstances, and it is only to be dissolved by death. As God's children, by faith in Jesus Christ, the relationship of marriage is especially meaningful. Certainly, it is possible for non-believers to marry, but only members of God's family, by faith in Jesus Christ, can ever experience the joy and fulfillment which God intended for marriage to have. Let me remind you, Paul and Sonia, your home will never be what God intends for it to be, if you leave him out of your relationship. As you are obedient to the word of God, and allow God to control your relationship, your home will be the place of joy and testimony to the world that God intends. Paul, if you will, give Sonia your reading that you have for her. And repeat after me. Right. I, Paul, I, Paul, take you, Sonia, take you, Sonia, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife. With deepest joy, with deepest joy, I receive you into my life. I receive you into my life. That together we may be one. Together we may be one. As in Christ, as in Christ, as in Christ, to His body, to His body, the church, the church. So I will be to you. So I will be to you. A loving and faithful husband. Always, Always will I perform my headship, will I perform my headship over, you, over you, even as Christ, even as Christ does, over me. does over me. Knowing that his lordship, Knowing that his lordship is, one of the holiest desires is one of the holiest desires for my life. For my life. I, promise you, I promise you my deepest love, my, deepest love, my, fullest, devotion, my fullest devotion, my tenderest care. I promise, I promise I will live first, I will live first unto, God, unto God rather than others, rather than others or, even you. or even you. I promise that I will lead our lives, I promise that I will lead our lives into, a life of faith into a life of faith and hope in Christ Jesus. Hope in Christ Jesus. Ever honoring God's guidance, ever honoring God, God's guidance by, His Spirit, by His Spirit through the Word. Through the Word. And so throughout life, no matter what may lie ahead of us, I pledge to you, I pledge to you my, life my life as a loving, as a loving and, faithful husband. and faithful husband. Sonia, if you'll give Paul the ring that you have for him. I, Sonia, take you, Paul. Be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. With deepest joy. With deepest joy. I come into my new life. I come into my new life. With you. With you. As you have pledged to me. As you have pledged to me. Your life and love. Your life and love. So I too. So I too. Happily give you. Happily give you. I, my life. And in confidence. And in confidence. Su submit myself to your headship. Submit myself to your headship. As to the Lord. As to. As in the church, as in the church, and her relationship to Christ, and her relationship, to Christ, so I will be to you. So I will be to you, Paul. Paul, I will 
live first unto our God. I will live first unto our God. And then unto you. And then unto you. Loving you. Loving you. Obeying you. Obeying you. Caring for you. Caring for you. And ever seeking to please you. And ever seeking to please you. God has prepared me. God has prepared me. For you. For you. So and so I. And so I. Will ever strengthen. Will ever strengthen. Help. Help. Comfort. Comfort. And encourage you. And encourage you. Therefore. Therefore, throughout life, throughout life, no matter what may be ahead, no matter what may be ahead of, us, of us, I pledge to you my life, I pledge to you my life as an obedient, as an obedient and faithful wife. Faithful wife. For as much as Paul and Sonia have consented together in holy wedlock, and having witnessed the same before God in these witnesses, and thereto have pledged their faithfulness each to the other. And have pledged the same by the giving and receiving each of a ring, by the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel, according to the laws of the state of Georgia, I pronounce that they are husband and wife, together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those that God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Let me pray. And join with me as we ask God's blessings on this new form family unit. Shall we pray? Eternal Father, Creator, Redeemer, Lover of our souls, we now turn to you. And as the first act of this couple in their newly formed union, we, as you to, we ask you to protect their home. May they always turn to you for guidance, for strength, for provision, for direction. May they glorify you in the choices that they make, in the ministries they involve themselves in, in all that they do. Use them to draw others to yourself and let them stand as a testimony to the world of your faithfulness. And Father, may they become the example for others of a, of a good marriage that will be, there will be a blessing to each other and to their family and be a blessing to you. Father, we ask this in Jesus' name. And we all said, Amen. Amen. You may kiss the bride. Hope you all been rehearsing. <laughs> my happy privilege to introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Paul Lover. Hey, Paul, sir.